Welcome, detective. Please, please make yourself comfortable. I appreciate your coming in today, and I'm sure you're wondering what this is all about. As you know, technology is changing how we conduct investigations. So we're looking for exceptional candidates to test a new human-computer interface system. We think you might have what it takes, so let's get started. First of all, we'd like you to put on these headphones, but the room is equipped with speakers if you'd prefer. Next, we're going to show you a series of pictures. We want you to tell us what you see, or more importantly, what you hear. Go ahead and pick up the tablet in front of you. Try to relax. Think of this as sort of a game or a puzzle. Something to assess your interpretive and deductive skills. State your name, please. Already told you. Tyler. Hmm? But your car is registered under the name Cameron. <coughs> My brother lets me borrow his luxury vehicle sometimes. You two look a lot alike. You're not the first person to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Except he's a big shot CEO. Was on a magazine cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. <sighs> It's the people I hang out with. Honest. I told the guys I shouldn't have been drinking, but they insisted. I swear, never again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, nothing I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, what drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? Ah, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for the... I need to make a phone call anyway. Officer, you said something about drugs earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? He's here too? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right. All right. All right. This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler. No. If it was only a DUI this time, you might have been able to pull off your little stunt. But seriously, drugs? You really want to pin that on your brother, too? What drugs? We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible! Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin. I want to see my lawyer. Finally, there's the magic word. Amber, let's go. You want to question him again once his lawyer gets here? He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights, but he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. Lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him.
Take a seat. Thanks. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Then why do you always take the fall for him? Until now, I mean. Because he's older, by a couple minutes. But as the second son, I was considered the spoiled brat. So it was my duty to protect the rep of the rightful heir to our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations? Fine, whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony level shit. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him. Marty be trying to set me up? Maybe, but who? And why like this? Ugh, just stick to the story. As if I had another one. station. Can't talk much. Just want to make sure you get everything tied up. Yeah, shut that guy up for good. When? Now, obviously. Cops ain't that stupid. We're talking about a whole key here. Of course they're gonna trace the source. And the dealer can ID me, so hurry up. My brother? Pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd try to blame me. But it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't notice a thing. The police are gonna nail him for possession and perjury. And when you finish this little errand, he won't even be able to offer up the dealer as part of a plea. He's going to jail, and I'm getting the business. My old man can't and won't help him this time. Not after Cameron got caught with what he did. You'll get your cut after I take over his heir. No celebrating yet. Go do what you gotta do. And call me back when it's done. Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right. All right. Cameron. We found a whole kilo in your trunk. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped over. So you, so you believe that the twins swapped their identities. Excellent assessment, detective. By this point, you've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. All of this data is contained in and processed by what we're calling the uh, acoustic detective system. It allows you to freely navigate through past events using audio. Ultimately, we're hoping to assemble a new investigative department that will rely heavily on this invention, both to solve cold cases and assist with new ones as they develop. You're off to a strong start. Let's get back to it. How about something more challenging?